<laughs> well, long during the war, when Mr. Hoover had cut down our sugar to such a little bit, you couldn't get enough to bait an ant. I thought it might be a good idea to get some bees and have honey. Well, I went over to see Jim Lawson. Jim said he knowed all about bees. Jim said one time he drove a swarm of bees from Maine to California and back again and never lost a bee. <laughs> he said he drove them to California in the winter and back to Maine in the summer and then they could make honey all the year round. Well, I asked Jim what become of his bees and Jim said, well, I thought I had a good idea. I crossed them with lightning bugs so they could work nights, and the poor little critters just worked themselves to death. <laughs> well, I didn't take much stock in Jim's bee story. I wrote a letter to a place out in Ohio, and they sent me six hives of bees, a book what told all about bees, and a queen bee. I wrote them for a king bee, but they said, the bees I had were suffragette bees and wouldn't have any king bee around. <laughs> well, I had them about six weeks when one day got kind of nice and warm and them bees swarmed and it began to look as though I was going to lose most of my bees. <laughs> I got out a lot of new bungalow hives with modern improvements and tried to get them to go to housekeeping in them, but they wouldn't pay any attention to it. They just sat up on top of a tree and wouldn't come down. <laughs> I went over to get Jim Lawson, but Jim said they bees was a stranger to him, and they wouldn't pay any attention to him, seeing as how he didn't know them. If they had been his bees, he could have reasoned with them. Well, all pumpkin centers turned out to see my bees and try and help me hide them. I began to think maybe I had some IWW bees and had got the other bees to go on a strike. And still I thought bees had more sense than that. Deacon Witherspoon said he had heard that a band playing would settle them, so we got out the Punkin Center Silver Cornet Brass Band to serenade them, but they didn't know what to play. Lige Willard said he thought that a selection from Beethoven would be appropriate. <laughs> Just then a thunderstorm come up and it commenced to rain, and them bees commenced to settle and as they settle. Gosh, you ought to see Pumpkin Center move. I've been reading in that bee book and it says a bee can pull 200 times its own weight. I don't know how much a bee can pull, but gosh, how a bee can push. <laughs>